Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm making this video to show you guys a different design of a uh, wind turbine. And I'm not sure if you guys have uh, seen uh, the motors that I'm using. Uh, but the motors I'm experimenting with are a radiator fan motor. And you can see that one also in the middle there. And the little tiny blade that comes with it. And the reason why I'm using these motors because they are pretty much $2, uh, dirt cheap for a, a DC 12 volt motor. And these motors are coming out of uh, radiator fans out of cars. So um, pretty cheap, easy to experiment with. So not only am I going to try different designs with horizontal axle wind turbines, I'm also going to try you know, vertical axle wind turbines. And this one, as you can tell, they are 2 liter bottles. On this one, there's a 27. I just did a three rows of three for each blade. You know, extended them each each way there. And uh, I think for this guy, this is just my prediction that it's it's going to start at a slow speed, uh, but I don't think I'm going to get enough speed to. Uh, do any good with this motor because these motors have to go really, really fast to get anything out of them. And I think this is going to have a very slow startup, but I don't think it's going to I get give me the speed that I need. But I need to try it anyway. So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, test this guy out. I'll show you the test, and I'll tell you the numbers uh, when I'm done with that one. Go ahead. Hey, five, please. thing is this play design uh, it did have a very slow start up they started spinning right around five miles an hour which is great uh, but the problem is uh, with this motor and these blades at 20 miles an hour I got about 0.5 volt that's just sad uh, very sad but I had to try it um, and unfortunately not the best design for, for this motor here that needs a very high speed to get anything deep out of it. And I don't know if I ever explained to you guys why I'm trying to use uh, 2 liter bottles for turbine blades. Well, the reason why I'm using these bottles is because anywhere in the world you go, you can pretty much find these for free. You know, laying around everywhere, just, you know, polluting the landscapes, whatever. So you might as well get something uh, good out of them, like a decent purpose. I have seen some uh, good purposes for them. I've seen actually people made like a schoolhouse. That was pretty cool. I've seen rafts made out of them and stuff. But I think they'd be uh, really good for for turbine designs. Uh, it's just unfortunate with these blades and this motor, uh, it didn't work very well at all. And uh, the other turbine that I made, actually I got one volt out of it for being um, I think that was around 20 miles an hour, so that one worked uh, way better 
but I'm going to keep on making different designs, keep on trying different things, and hopefully I can find a magic combination of, you know, a free blade that works really well. You know, I get a lot of good speed off it, and they're, and they're pretty durable, and even if, you know, one of these gets destroyed or breaks or whatever, you know, it's, it's just a two liter bottle, you can easily replace it, so. Okay, um, what I'm going to be doing, you're going to see a lot of new videos of uh, turbines, hopefully, in the, the near future here. I'm going to try a lot of different um, blade designs, a lot of multi-motor turbines. You know, I have a bunch of different designs that I'll be uh, trying to, to make. I've already written them all down and everything, and they look feasible anyway, and hopefully they are. So, okay, stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully a lot of new crazy turbines that I've never seen anywhere else before. So, okay, I appreciate watching the video. As always, take care. And go.